Hi, in this video, I want to show you how to disable and enable submissions in an assignment. And I also want to briefly discuss with you the why this is important. So first, I'm going to navigate to my course. And as I have my course set to land on updates, I also need to navigate using the left hand navigation bar to my materials. And from in there, I want to look at this assignment that I've been using as a tester. So to edit the assignment, I can click on the assignment here, I can click on it here, I can click on it with the gear icon. As it's a good habit to look for those gear icons as a place to edit, I'm going to use the gear icon to look at my assignment settings. So now that I'm here um, in this assignment, I'm going to look down at these options. Um, it's a really, really small button. And so I think it's important to draw attention to it. It's this little, it looks like a box with a little green arrow. And if I hover over it, you'll see the tooltip there that says submissions enabled. What this means is that students are able to submit an assignment response digitally. So this could be anything that a student can upload. Um, so if there is something that you want a student to complete and give to you in a digital manner, you want to have this turned on. The great news is that submissions enabled is the default. Submissions enabled is the default, which means the only reason that you would want to toggle it off or not allow them to submit is if this was an assignment that you were going to collect in person in class, or if it was, if you were putting an assignment out there as more of a reminder. I know there are some teachers who like to assign for homework, for instance, read chapters one through three or what have you. So if that was the assignment and you didn't need them to turn anything in, then you would maybe make the assignment say, you know, um, read chapter one what have you. There's nothing for the student to turn in, but it's still an assignment they should have completed. So I wanted to just talk about that. It's this little guy right here, this little box with the arrow. It defaults on. You know that it's on because it's colored in. And when you hover, it says submissions enabled. And that, again, allows a student to turn in a digital item to you so that right inside your Schoology, you have all the assignments digitally. I hope this information was helpful.